Hi everyone, Messi Coda back again with another asset story review. This time it is Sinti Studios Polygon Western Frontier Pack. Sinti boys are back again in the Wild West. This is their follow up to their previous Western pack called Polygon Western Pack from Sinti Studios. And this has got Mexicans, Native Americans, it's got soldiers, miners, oh, farmers. It's exciting, it's massive, it's crazy. Do I like it? Well, I think you can guess, but sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second. I have one messy cutter inside Unity playing about with the Polygon Western Frontier Pack, which is Sintisio's second Western Pack. They've got the Western Pack, funnily, it's named, is their first one. This is a great addition. As you can always see with Sinti, you've got a massive demo scene. It's actually bigger than other ones that we've seen in the past. They've outdone themselves because if we play about, I'm going to click play. I've got an extended fly cam on here. I've also shoved a load of mesh, mesh colliders, mesh colliders even. Because as we've come to expect with Sinti, they're beautiful. We've got massive packs, but we also rarely get colliders on things. And like I said... Reasons for that being is so you know, so you can stick your colliders on yourself, and which is fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, 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 demo scene put together, not always is lovely. Every now and again, I sneaky peek a little creek. Let's have a look. There's a hole in there. Not gonna, not gonna blame them for it, obviously. It just it's put together massive demo scene every now and again. You're not going to flip this, you're going to do it yourself. So when you do it yourself, you know, make sure that you've got your cracks in. I'm not going to score anyone down for that, I'll just be silly. That's like saying, scoring down the Mona Lisa, because there was a brush stroke in the wrong place. Let's have a look. This is massive. This here is the mine. So we've got, danger, keep out! This is the mine here. Whoa! It is huge. Oh, no interiors in there. What about in here? But interiors? No interiors in here. What about here? No interiors. Okay. It's alright. It's okay. Let's have a look in here. Oh, alright then. Toilet? Yay! You can see the toilet. Lovely. What about in this box? Nope. Oh, I need it. Tense though. Ooh. Tell you what. I'll be glad when this cough's gone. I'll be so glad when this cough's gone. Maybe it's the desert air that brings out the cough. You get trees in this pack. We've got cacti, rocks, and rubble. On the ground, you see these are actually meshes. This is unity terrain. So you could use something like Quantum Theory's polygon tool to convert your unity mesh and make take advantage of unity's terrain system and then turn it into a, into a mesh. Polygon style mesh. Let's have a look in here. Have we got interiors in this church? Yay! Church has got interiors. What about this one's got an interior? Yes. This is a little Mexican scene here on the frontier. So we went from a mine over there to a little bit of Mexico. Yes, brilliant. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, the detail on this is lovely. What about in here? Hello. Oh, fantastic. Hey, senor, we're going to go to the mine, eh? I'm Canadian, Mexican, you know? What about in here? Is this, this is a little, what is this? Don't know who, is it like a little fort, a little camp? Hmm, soldiers, maybe? Bandits, could be? Have a little house, trees. This is a different style of Sintish tree that we've seen. Lovely, I like it. It, it looks, I forgot the name of it, but um, it's in the other Western packs so where you get. I keep forgetting names of trees. My wife's much better at that than I am. This is a massive demo set. Come on, don't flip it. Build it yourself. Here we go, here's the, here's the army fort. I've got a load of play I've got the characters in here. I've chucked them down so we can have a look at them in a second. I'll move them out into the open. Put them down here just to keep them safe. You're getting 21 characters in this pack. Uh, 15 weapons. 
three vehicles and 42 building assets, 147 environment, that's a lot, nine generic assets and 87 props. So in total, about 330 unique with four color textures. Ooh, that's a pretty fellow. Hello, look at you. This is the Native American place. Okay. Lovely looking tent. This is huge. Really is big. Really is big and juicy. Look at the size of the place. A little. Oh, we got our. Uh, it said vehicles, but this boat wasn't listed in the vehicle. I'm going to say four. Four vehicles. A boat is still a vehicle. And then if we just go out here, I'm just going to fly up here just so you can see. It's lovely. Oh, it really is. It works so well with the other Western pack. You know, my brain is sitting here very, oh, thinking, what should I do? And when I started doing my uh, Western game, we had discussions about doing polygon style. And I wanted to do a poly style. My partner at the time was like, I don't really like the polygon style, I'm more realistic. And I was like, well, you, if you're going to go down that realistic route, and this was before Cinti came out with their one, like you, you're going to really struggle to, to have a niche out there because there's so much, so many other realistic looking, high quality graphic Western games. So I'm crying out for a little fun poly one. And there's been a few little games out there on the store now since since he make, rolled out their asset and there's a few other asset developers out there who are doing low poly style looking or polygon looking um, western and since you're always very careful to call it polygon not low poly so they call it polygon style because it's really low poly so look what props we get here oh there's a picture there's a horn Tankard. Look at that little little case in there, little chest. Let's have a look at the people. This the priest is inside a little steam engine in there. Let's move let's move them out. Let's move them out somewhere safe where they can have some fun. And we can have a look at them. Let's move them out here. Boom. There we go. And I'm gonna put you here. Very little badges. I'm just gonna change a line to view. Here we go and pop in. Boop. Turn them around. There they are, just floating out in the desert. So as I say, you get 21 different characters, and they've got alternative colours as well. The question I know you're gonna ask is: Are there hair props and hats and things customizable? Can we take them off? Well, I'm glad you asked me that question. And let's have a look, because this is the first time I'm delving in. Oh, Cinti, you know I love you, but you're regressing again. Now, Cinti went through a period where they would actually provide you these models and the hats and the clothes, the things would be separated. Not entirely all the clothes, but you know, at least the hats, facial hair, masks, little props would be separated. Maybe a bandana. Bandolier would also be um bandana. Bandolier would also be um separated. But now we've regressed. And when I chatted uh, before in an interview, he did allude to the fact that the more complex the characters become and the more complex the outfits are the harder it is for them to guarantee that it works well when you're animating and running around. So they decide, you know what, we quality is more important to them than anything else really. They want they want the quality of the stuff to be guaranteed to be high. So they force they force the mesh to be all suited and booted. And therefore they know it's always gonna look as intended and it's gonna look bang on. Which I appreciate. I can understand why they're doing it. I just wish. I just wish they, you know, give us maybe, give us a version that is chopped up, two versions. Now, saying that, you can just get these, put them in your favorite graphics editor, and do it yourself. If you've 
technically inclined or you've had the time. So you can do it. Other people have and they've messaged me to tell me they have. Fair play to them. I, I don't have the patience to do it and I'll wait for somebody else to, to do it and teach me what they've done. So let's close these down here and I'm just going to drag in another controller because I want to show you something. There you go. You see what I've done here? I've just put in in vector in vector controller and I've dragged in one of the uh, soldiers and immediately we can see that it works perfectly. Well, I've obviously I've put in mesh colliders all over the place. But there's no there's nothing whatsoever stopping you using Cinti Studios models with standard mechanic animations. They're bang on, they're perfect. You expect the quality to be bang on being artists from the movie industry having worked on the Hobbit films, Planet of the Apes films, Valerian and the Sky Princess, whatever it's called. Yeah, some things I haven't put colliders on, as you can see, you can still go through some things. And other things I have. Now, there's so many prefabs and models in this pack. I wish that I could sit and go through them all with you, but I'm not going to. That would be crazy. That would take me hours. Because hey, my head's got inside here. Like, -boo. Let's just have a play though and see just a few of the props that you get in this pack. Alright, here we are. We're looking at the buildings we've got here. As I say, I can't go through every single thing because look how many things we are getting in this pack. It is a crazy, crazy number of things in this pack. So we've got here. 42 building assets, okay? Outhouse, quarries. Those are our internals to those. We it's sad, that'd be cool. You can always customize these. Great starting point. Farming equipment. We've got towers, steps, a TP, three TPs, and two different tents. What we got here? We've got seen the characters, environments. Got these background pieces that we had, our background cards. We've got our trees. That's what I always love about Cinti. The more Cinti packs you get, the more different types of poly trees you're getting as well. There's a lot of cacti. A lot of cacti. Because you get 147 environment prefabs. Uh, can you imagine if I went for 147 prefabs now? I think you'd turn off the stream and poke me, wouldn't you? In the tunnels. So let's not do that. This is where I just added a load of mesh colliders on these. I would have put like, actually, yeah, box colliders on them. But, oh, dead tree. Look at these beautiful tree stumps. And generic. What are these generics? We've got clouds, patches, grass. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We've got props. They say you've got 87 props in this pack, ranging from arrows, barrels. Oh, barricade of wood, campfires, beds, chests, carts, flagpoles, nuggets, nugget, log seat, photos, looking beautiful, a pike, you can always use a pike, totem poles, coloured without colour, oh, a destroyed wagon. The washing line always keep your clothes clean loads of stuff vehicles jail wagon shop and a wagon little traveling wagon and there we go here's our weapons we've got a tomahawk chain gun I wonder if the chain gun's got the animated parts we know that the weapons always do let's pop over here yes yes we got separated parts. Lovely. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. Awesome. That is what I wanted to see. And my little badges, we got it. All right, let's go back into our inspector view. Where were we? A knife or a hammer? 
Oh yeah, look, you've got the old um, axe used as a gunstock. Or a gunstock used as an axe. Uh, revolver. Uh, rifle. Bayonet. Poke it. Stack. Shotgun. A spade. A spear and a sword. The difference between a shovel and a spade is how if it's flat or curved. There, it's like flat. Boom. Or curved like that. That is a massive pack. This is a big, big pack of stuff. And, and it fits so well with the other Western pack. And the other Western pack, um, we get, I mean, how many, let me just have a quick check how many assets we get, how many prefabs we get. The other one has 305 unique assets with four alternative colors. So that one has 305. This one has 329. The more he makes, the bigger they get. Add them together, you got 634. I just did some maths. Yeah, baby. Good old time for maths. So I would say if you can get this in a sale, get it. If you, it is beautiful. You get the. I mean, you get so much over. Well, I you say 140, 139, 140 there thereabouts. Environment models so um, prefab so even if you weren't doing a western you get enough stuff in this pack that you could use in other genres as well in other time periods you could use this in a fantasy these buildings would work really well in a fantasy pack as well so i would say it's a great pack not just for westerns but for this polygon style in general now that's it for me now. I'm going to go and think of what kind of crazy ideas I'm going to use this in my 10 for 2020. That's right. In 2020, I'm making 10 games in Unity. Make, ranging from some of my favorite assets on the asset store to some new ones that I haven't tried before. And I figured they look really sexy. I want to give them a go. And I'm going to be doing something with a lot of Sinti stuff because they are bang on. So if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.